I'm a science teacher here at King Drew Magnet uh, School, which is at the middle of Watts. This is a very interesting school because our student population are minorities, 60% African Americans, 40% Latinos, and uh, we also have 70% girls, 30% boys. Yeah, this is the balloon is gonna blow up and to lift this part up. Yeah, that's why it has to be equal, right? Yeah, exactly. Balance. That's what I was telling you. Basically, a community-driven uh, school that um, some of the community activists got together and they wanted the school to be here on 120th and Compton. It was really uh, offset from the riots. They wanted a school in the Watts Willowbrook area for minorities to excel in the medicine and sciences. They wanted to have those students come back to the community and provide uh, health care. The goal was always to have uh, students from uh, minority communities, African American, Latinos, um, learn more about the sciences because of, they're underrepresented in those fields. Well, one of the main reasons why I'm using active chemistry is our school, we, in our school, we do have a lot of English learners and it helps them. It helps them read, it helps them understand procedures, and it helps them make conclusions and analyze data and results. I took act active chemistry in the beginning. It was fun. All the pictures and everything, it helps, it helps me to realize, re understand the concepts really well. I like to actually do what active chemistry enables us to do, which is to actually do the experiment to prove the um, um, principles. We focused on uh, the inquiry-based learning because we strongly felt that this is really the best way for our mainly English learner population to learn uh, science and it lends to our students also uh, transferring this learning into uh, reading, writing, what do you want to fill up with the acid? You want the balloon to be filled up with no, the hydrogen? No, the graduated cylinder. So yeah. fill up the graduated cylinder with hydrochloric acid.